Larry, what's happening in um, the next coming days? Uh, thanks, uh, Jeff. Well, this evening is the opening of uh, this art exhibition called uh, Kundru 2. It's a follow-up from Kundru, the first exhibition we held in 2011. And Kundru 2 is a collection of works by five local artists uh, who've come together over the, over the uh, course of the year to, to think about, to articulate issues uh, with reference to the word Kundru. And as you know, Kundru in Fijian means to grumble, to groan, to, to grunt. It's about discontent. Huh? And we've tried to expand the interpretation of Kundru to mean, you know, uh, many more things. And so the, these, these artists have looked at issues like corruption and abuse of women, abuse of children, uh, and other things, uh, the environment, and to reflect this in their, in their work. Tell us uh, over the next 10 days or so, uh, um, what happens, people come in and, and what do they do? Yes, uh, we're in the Playhouse here in Selborne Street, uh, the Fiji Arts Club uh, premises. And in the course of the next uh, 10 days, from 10 to 7 in the evenings, the, the exhibition is open. It's free, so you know, anyone and everyone uh, is welcome to, to come. And uh, all the pieces are for sale. And uh, you know, if, if people come and buy the, the works, they are supporting, supporting the local artists. So yes, the next 10 days, every day, uh, including the, the, the weekends, the place will be open. Based on, on the feedback you got at uh, the first uh, exhibition you held last year, do you think that there is a niche market for this kind of exhibition series, particularly for, for local art like this? There is a niche. It, th yeah, there, there is a market, and as you said, it's, it's, it's a niche market. It's small. Huh? Um, but, you know, we, Suva is a, is a hub for, you know, the, the UN agencies, uh, crop agencies, um, foreign uh, embassies. And, and people come and go all the time, uh, including you know, other uh, uh, international organizations. So that is largely the market that we, we aim for. There are a, a small group of locals, professionals, who are uh, serious art collectors, and they come to, to the exhibitions. Eh? But, but for them, you know, they want to see new things all the time, and, and things that are also very, very challenging. Do we also get the chance to meet some of these local artists or will you know, members of the public get to meet them over the next couple of these years or so? Or yes, how does it work? The, the artists will be here uh, during the course of the next 10 days uh, um, and uh, I've requested for them to be here just so that if people come to, to, to view the, the exhibition, can meet the artists, talk to them and you know because these are contemporary works, some of them are very very abstract, uh, people come and you know they want to understand what, what the painting is about and the artists can give them you know, some background. We also have a, a catalogue which is uh, for sale and, and that further explains you know, some of the, uh, the art pieces. Okay, Mason, first of all, thanks for your time. Could you tell me how, long, you. how many years have you been uh, painting? Uh, myself, I've been, uh, I've been painting for almost uh, 15 years now. Uh, I started from uh, Ocean Centre arts and culture at the University of South Pacific when I became freelance in 2007. Is there a particular style that, that you follow? Um, there's different style that I follow um, in certain category of uh, different themes in exhibition. Like if it's a cultural exhibition then I use a different uh, a style that includes cultural values. Tell us about the, today's theme is about, I think it's about women and rights and, and, and uh, uh, issues related to that. Uh, tell us what inspires you uh, otherwise as, as an artist? Kundru, uh, this, exhibition is, this exhibition is mainly based on awareness on what's happening in our country, especially in my works are mostly based on poverty, uh, abuse, uh, mostly about women and children. And, um, HIV. Do you think when, when you put your work on canvas, uh, do you think the message gets out there to, to people who come to exhibitions like this and people who buy your art as well? Do they think they appreciate that message you put on canvas? Uh, I think only a few will appreciate it because uh, I don't think the message is getting across really there to the people's mind because uh, um, they're still not getting used to what's happening in this exhibition. This is just the second time.
What's your message to young artists out there on, on how they can express themselves? Uh, maybe not in expressions like this, but the, the other ways they can express themselves as well. I believe, for me, in my own experience, um, painting something real, uh, something that is that will uh, give people awareness of what's really happening, real stuff that's happening in our country, that'll be really good. Um, it'd be good to be, be involved in designing and other stuff, but uh, for painting, I prefer to paint about real things. Okay, Peter, thanks for me. Thank you for tell me what inspires you as a local artist in Fiji. Oh, thank you. Uh, for me, uh, it's inspired me by all our ancestors eh? uh, in the village, because I was raised in the village, and uh, how they do the pattern for tapa and much like that. But uh, my position, you know, like for in Tutuvavanua, the village, I'm the Angonendao, fisherman. Eh? So when I came to USP, I tried to change that, uh, what I do in the village, transfer into a painting. So that's what uh, inspired me, my great grandfather's uh, traditional stuff. Today's theme is about uh, women, uh, the struggles women go through, uh, uh, issues related to that. Tell us about this, this particular piece behind you. Uh, how long did it take you to, to put it together? Okay, and and uh, what's the message there? Right. Um, this uh, piece, uh, it's, in, um, it about, it's about uh, no hope. Uh, for women, uh, we used to drag them away. And they are very important roles in our family. So once they come in, the, in the, their mind is so full. So in the village, you know, we, we, in other way that we, we can express ourselves you know, how to, we always hide it. Because uh, that's how we in the tradition of Mandua, we can show in public or in your friends, your feelings, yeah, what's happening. So this is uh, to show that uh, the, the women nowadays, they don't have to hide anything. They have to share. That's the, I believe that's one way can help the women in, in our society. So that's, it's called no hope. So we have to have, uh, to encourage them because they are the ones that bring us in this world.